says ln um, x squared minus 3 minus 2 ln x minus ln x plus 1. So before I gave you guys a single quantity, right, a single logarithm, and then we, all sp and then we s s expanded it into using multiple logarithms, right? Well, now my directions are a little bit different. Now I'm giving you multiple logarithms, and what I want you to do is to rewrite it using one logarithm. All right? And this is also what we call condensing the equation. So I'm going to take a look at this. The first thing we always want to do is take our exponent and at least bring them up to the top. So we have ln of x squared minus 3 minus ln of x squared minus ln of x plus 1. So when we see that subtraction, what is that subtraction telling us? We need to do division, right? So let's just kind of work at this one at a time from left to right. So if I was going to combine these by division, I could say that's the same thing as ln of x squared minus 3 divided by x squared minus ln of x plus 1. Would everybody agree with me the way that I wrote my subtraction into one single logarithm? ln of bx minus ln by, you just write as you just subtract them, divide them. Okay. Now the other thing, yes? Oh, you're saying that, that, okay. Oh, from there to there, yeah. Now, here's another thing that I always get from people. Right? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, x squared plus 4 divided by x squared does not equal 4. No, it does not. No. No, it does not, right? Let me give you an example with real numbers. 8 plus 8 divided by 8 does not equal 8. What's 8 plus 8? 16, 16 divided by 8. Two. 2. 8 plus 8 divided by 8 is equal to 2, not equal to 8. Okay? So don't just say, oh, I see 2x squared, so let me cancel them out. Now, if this was like this, where they are multiplied by each other, then, yes, you can, you can divide those to 1. All right? So a big misconception that a lot of students have. All right. So now we got to divide this again. Yes? So now it's ln of x squared minus 3 divided by x squared divided by x plus 1. Anybody seen a triple fraction? Yes? yes? What class? When? Algebra 2, yeah, of course. You guys should have done these with rational fractions, right? And to, when we taught these, we just went back to fractions, basic fractions. If I have 1 fourth divided by 1 fifth, that looks like this. 1 fourth divided by 1 fifth. To get a fraction off the denominator, you have to do what? Multiply by its reciprocal. So it gets off. So you multiply by 5 over 1. All right. So what I like to do is sometimes I like to extend this and say it's a fraction divided by another fraction, meaning that's a, whole, that's a number that you can put over 1. Fraction divided by fraction. To get the fraction off the denominator, you multiply by the reciprocal. OK? So now my final answer is ln of x squared minus 3 over x cubed plus x squared as I multiply that out. OK? Cool? Yes? No? Maybe so? So that'd be your final answer. Like, whoa, Mr. McLogan. Whoa. All right, one more? One more. I got to do at least one more.